Our story begins in a country town, when the boys had an evening out. The pleasures were scarce in a place like this. It was pictures or pubs or nout. There wasn't much fun in just walking round with the wind blowing up for snow. So they all agreed without argument that the pub was the place to go. It wasn't the beer and the darts alone that satisfied everyone. It was always a chance that a girl or two would be there to enrich the fun. Well, they entered the pub through the blacked out door. It was truly a cosy place, with a neat little bar and a dartboard too. A host with a cheery face. It was better by far than they'd hoped to find. In fact, it was home from home. So they walked right in, feeling quite content, till the last bus left for the drone. It was good at last to be feeling warm with an hour or two to spend on an evening off in a place like this where everyone seemed a friend. Well, they ordered up drinks in the usual way. But Bill's thoughts were not for beer. He wanted some fun. So we looked around for a girl with the same idea. He soon found out that his luck was in, but his smile was responded to by a girl of the type he liked to meet when his ride ran to pastures new. It was Mike who suggested a game of darts, but Bill wasn't keen at all. The two saucy smiles had attracted him to a table against the wall. So Tom just grinned. He was used to Bill and winked at his partner, Mike, while Bill went with Harry across the room to see what the girls were like. The landlord smiled as Tom and Mike showed clearly just what they thought of Harry and Bill who couldn't resist their favorite indoor sport. take long for the boys to prove that although they were mere ACs, they knew all about what was going on, just what was in the breeze. It'd be very awkward if Jerry tried a raid on a local drone. There's a couple of hundred kites up there, and tomorrow some more will come. There's a big do on but we mustn't say that we know what it's all about. And that's why we can't see you till Saturday, if that's okay to take you out. The girls agreed, and they all arranged that Saturday was a date when the boys discovered they'd have to go. The hour was getting late.
Well, Saturday night had come at last, with its gaiety, life and cheer, leaving only a memory of the raid, which certainly had been near. The girls, however, were more concerned with keeping their Air Force date. They began to suspect they'd been let down. But why were the boys so late? The date fell through, and the boys are dead. Though the fact never came to light that the man in the pub who dozed nearby got his message away that night. Never forget that wherever you are, there are listening ears. <laughs>